Is it time for you to get your chinchilla some new accessories? Out with the old and in with the new. Sometimes it's just what you have to do. Sure, it costs a couple of bucks here and there, but keeps your furry friend pretty happy in the meantime. What's up guys, Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Thank you everybody for coming back, we appreciate it. And today guys, this entire video is about when it's time to replace your chinchillas accessories. Chili, is it time for some new stuff or what? You tired of the old? Is it time to swap you in with some new? Guys, if you were not here for the last video, I mentioned the giveaway that we are doing in that video. I will bring that up again in this video, but make sure you stick around to the end. We need more people to enter, and I will discuss all of those details at the end of this video. Trust me, it's worth sticking around for, plus this video will be kind of fun and informative anyways. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into the main content of this video, which is again, how often to replace accessories for your chinchilla inside of the chinchilla cage. So what's up guys, we got Chili, looks like she has nothing in her cage, because she doesn't. We're switching some stuff out today. We cleaned up the cage earlier, and now I want to talk about when it's time for you to do the same. All right guys, so like I said, we were cleaning up the cage earlier and I realized a few days ago that it was time to replace a few of the items in the cage that were experiencing some wear and tear. Now, when you own a chinchilla, or if you're thinking about adopting one, one of the biggest things you have to keep in mind is these guys, what are you doing? These guys need accessories in their cage quite a few of them, and some of them do take a beating or some chewing, so naturally you need to replace them at intervals or whenever you notice this taking place. It's also important to note that it completely depends on the item. Some of it is more like general care items like the bedding or the fleece liners, but everything kind of has its shelf life for how long it's going to last your chinchilla. So what I want to do is go through some of the primary ones and talk about how often you can plan or expect to be replacing them. Some of them are going to last longer, some of them will not. So let's start with a few of the basics. Can you guys see her butt right now? Oh, she moved. She was literally trying to wedge herself inside of one of those uh, like wooden log tunnels. It was pretty funny. She's actually still in there. All right guys, so let's start with the wooden legends, which they come in packs just like this here. And when you get them out of the package, they will be fresh, unchewed, good looking wood like this. What happens is over the course of time, your chinchilla is gonna chew on some of this wood. Maybe your chinchilla chews more or less than other chinchillas. I don't know, I'm not in your house. I don't know how often your chinchilla chews, but mine, likes to chew the wood so you need to replace those shelves every now and then they're gonna you can get the little washers and then the twist nuts that go on the outside of the cage especially on these critter nation cages swap them out relatively cheap a set of two shelves i think is like 14 dollars on amazon i will put a link in the description below for those in case it is time for you to swap out yours next and one of the most important and expensive unfortunately accessories you have in the cage is the fleece bedding the good news is that you don't have to replace it all that often if you keep it clean and you take care of it personally i wash my fleece twice per week and this is going to help really extend the life of the fleece in general it doesn't shrink too bad it fits over these trays really nicely but I don't know if your chinchillas do this, but she likes to do the little burrow, like in her spot, like in her favorite spot near her nest box. So sometimes you'll get like tiny little holes. They're not a huge deal, but if they start getting bigger or you get a lot more of them, it's probably time to swap out to a new pair. Or in the beginning, you can just buy two pairs to begin with. I like to rotate my fleece in and out. So I'll do one set of the fleece for about two weeks by washing it, getting her out of the cage, and then I'll use the other set for two weeks. I am now on the same two sets of fleece liners for about the past year and a half. So overall, probably about $100 spent, but over that year and a half, I've never had to buy aspen shavings or any other kind of bedding. So 
it really comes out to the same cost. It looks better, it's easier to clean, and your chinchilla is going to like the fleece more than the aspen shavings. Just throw your poop at me, chili. She might be a little bit mad that the accessories aren't in the cage right now. Okay guys, then you have other accessories inside the cage that need replaced more often, which are more of like the toy type accessories. So things like the lava ledge, these hanging toys here that they will chew on. And if you can see her little wooden log hideout, that's actually in great shape. It's not having any issues. I don't need to swap that. That's why it's still inside of the cage. But the toy type accessories, those need replaced basically when they're done with them. So you gotta buy them, you know, that might be every couple weeks or monthly, but when they've chewed them to the end of their chewing capabilities, it's time to take them out, put in some new ones. And then you have the ever so important nest box, hiding box, whatever you wanna call it, hut hideout. This is an absolute must if you have a chinchilla. They need this, it makes them feel safe, and it's one of the first accessories you need to purchase for your chinchilla. This is my second one. It is still in great shape, so it will be going back in the cage, but I wanted to emphasize just how important it is to have one of these in the cage in general. And then you have some of the other general care needs items for the cage. So you have the water bottle and the food bowl. As long as you're keeping these clean and they're still functioning, obviously the food bowl will always be functioning. It's a bowl. You just need to wash it out, refill their food. The water bottle, on the other hand, sometimes these have issues. Sometimes your chinchilla finds a way to knock these off of the cage, break it, especially if you're using one like the Lixit glass water bottle. I love that water bottle, but if it is on a hard surface and it falls, you're going to have to buy a new one. And then sometimes these water bottles also get clogs or they just stop working the way that they used to. In those situations, you're also going to need to get a new one. For water bottles, guys, I always recommend having a minimum of two water bottles on hand. Whether you use both at the same time or not, completely up to you. But you don't want to be in that spot where you either have to leave to go get one or wait for one to come like from Amazon because they need water, unlimited access to clean, fresh water and a clean water bottle. So don't make them wait, just have one ready to go. They're not very expensive. And then you have other accessories as well, like the chinchilla wheel. Honestly, you should never have to replace a chinchilla wheel, especially if you have one like the Quality Cage Crafters, the 15 um, inch chin spin. Any of the good ones, you'll never have to replace. Any of the bad ones, you honestly should never buy period because they're usually made out of plastic or things that they shouldn't have but that is an accessory you can kind of bank on not needing to replace down the road now if you have other accessories in the cage that haven't been mentioned so that could be like tunnels other corner ledges just other fun interactive and safe things in the cage those are going to be completely up to you and when it seems like it makes sense to replace if they are chewed to destruction if they're just not functioning the way that they used to replace them don't leave that kind of stuff in the cage it looks like crap and it doesn't need to be in there most chinchilla accessories are so cheap that it doesn't make sense to try and push the limits very far on keeping them to begin with but as far as accessories and what you need to replace guys that's about all i have for you in this video it's something you need to be aware of if you're getting ready to buy a chinchilla it is an ongoing expense and you do need to do it. Now, I wanna talk about what I promised I would talk about at the beginning of the video, which is that giveaway. That was mentioned at the beginning of the last video and the end, but basically, we're trying to give back a little bit to the subscriber base that we have now, and we're gonna just do it based on commenting on the videos that are published from starting last week up until December 18th. The only way to find out really about this is by watching the entire video. And all I'm asking you guys to do is drop your YouTube username down below and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do that, we're just going to take all of those names that follow those directions, auto-generate a random selector, and then pick the winner and do a giveaway for accessories for your chinchilla, which will take place again on December 18th. Another reason to like the video, guys, is it helps me and Chili out dramatically. When you like the video, the YouTube algorithm loves me and it loves Chili. And that like turns into a mechanism to push this video 
out to all of the other chinchilla owners who might need this kind of helpful advice. So again, like it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and leave us some comments down below on what kind of content you want to see in the future. And guys, seriously, if you haven't been over to planetchinchilla.com yet, go right now. Planetchinchilla.com. That is the blog site associated with this YouTube channel. Tons of useful resources. We even have an ebook specifically made for new chinchilla owners that you can see once you go to planetchinchilla.com by going to the section in the menu bar at the top that says ebook downloads. And for those of you watching today, you can use promo code chincare50 at checkout for 50% off. That is C H I N C A R E 50 at checkout is where it will ask you to enter that promo code for 50% off. And all it takes is like two seconds. You go to your web address bar, type in planet chinchilla, P L A N E T chinchilla.com. Head on over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all of the subscribers on this channel and me and Chili. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.